Okay, is this real life right now? You guys keep coming back to my most amazing top 10 videos. I love every single one of you guys. So I'm Landon, for any of you who are new here, how's it going? So this is the top 10 facts about cancer. We're gonna learn a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm just letting you guys know that I'm doing a contest, a $100 giveaway to you guys. This is happening every single Tuesday. It's on my Instagram. All you have to do is two things. Follow me on Instagram at Landon Productions and look for this image or an image that looks similar to this because I do update this image from time to time. Go to the image and just tell me what would you guys do with $100. So good luck to every single one of you guys. So enough of the money talk, although I can talk about money forever because I'm brown. But let's get into this list. Let's start off like we always do in at number 10. So what exactly is cancer? Well, this is a good place to start. Cancer is a group of diseases characterized by uncontrolled growth and spread of abnormal cells. Normally, human cells grow and divide to form new cells when the body needs it. When new cells grow or they become damaged, they die and then new cells replace place them. So when cancer develops, the abnormal, old, or damaged cells survive, and these extra cells can divide without stopping and may form into tumors. So there's over a hundred types of cancers that we know so far, and cancer can appear in any part of your body, and also it can affect anyone. Moving into number nine, did you guys know that over two million skin cancers are diagnosed every year? Skin cancer is actually one of the most common type of cancer because we're always exposed to the sun. But saying that, it's one of the most preventable cancers. Most of these cases could be prevented by taking the proper precautions. For example, you should protect your skin, don't go out in the sun too long, and have overexposure. You can go tanning indoor, although some people say that's bad for you and also that can cause cancer, or you can just apply sunscreen. So what are the leading types of cancer in men? in women or even children? Well, I have the answer for you guys in at number eight. So the leading type of cancers in women is breast cancer, lung cancer, colorectal cancer, and cancer of the uterus. The leading cancers in men are prostate cancer, lung cancer, and colorectal cancer. And lastly, for children, the most prevalent types of cancers are leukemia, brain tumors, and lymphoma. So these are just the most common types of cancers in men, in women, and children. But again, anyone can have any one of these cancers at any age, any sex. Up next, and at number seven spot, there are three primary cancer treatments. The first option is often surgery to try to remove the tumor or the cancerous cells. Surgery works best on localized cancers that haven't yet spread to the other parts of the body. And it is often followed by radiation or chemotherapy. So doctors will use chemotherapy to kill cancer cells. Usually chemo drugs are given into the vein or taken by mouth. These drugs travel through the body into the bloodstream and reach cancer cells that might have spread and lastly, radiation therapy uses high energy rays to kill cancerous cells and shrink tumors. A lot of these methods can get rid of cancer, but there's a chance that cancer can come back if it's not all removed. And sometimes it's very hard to detect if it's 100% gone. So cancer is the second most common cause of death in the United States. And I'll talk more about this in at number six. Cancer affects people of all genders, ages, race, and ethnicity. Anyone can get cancer, but the risk of most types of cancer increase with age and your exposure to carcinogens. Cancer accounts for nearly one in four deaths. The most common cause of death in the United States of America is heart disease. Moving into number five, gender and ethnicity affect your chances of getting cancer. Through various studies, it was discovered that black men was most likely to die of lung cancer than any other group and white women are most likely to die of lung cancer than any other group. It was even discovered that certain cancers such as liver and stomach cancer are highest among Asians than African Americans. So yes, depends on your ethnicity, you are actually more prone to different types of cancers depending on your exposure, depending on your climate. We are now in at number four. Smoking causes an estimated 90% of all lung cancer. And the reason why people still smoke, well, it's a bad habit to break. A lot of people, young age, they think it's cool, they pick it up and then they can't stop. In cigarettes, there's nicotine in there that makes it so addicting. It's horrible, but it's great for the government because they're making so much money off of us. This is so crazy, but tobacco has killed 50 million people in the last decade. So the creators of tobacco and cigarettes, I should have researched who the heck they are, but they have killed tens of millions of people. If this trend continues, a billion people will die from tobacco use and the exposure this century. So pretty much one person every six seconds 
probably has died from this type of cancer. Okay, so genes affect your risk of getting cancer, and this comes in at number three. This is known as genetic susceptibility. It is estimated that five to ten percent of your cancers are entirely hereditary. Some people have an increased risk of particular types of cancer because they have inherited faulty genes. We inherit genes from both our parents, and if one parent has a gene fault, then each child has one in two chance of inheriting it. So that's a 50% chance if your mom has breast cancer, you know what, you may have breast cancer and you should get checked out. So some children will have the faulty gene and an increased risk of developing that cancer. So we're almost at a number one, but right now we're in at number two. So did you guys know that a naked mole rat is actually immune to cancer? So scientists have been like studying it to find out why. A natural substance called hyaluronan, which protects the naked mole rat from developing cancerous tumors. This discovery has made scientists very optimistic that the anti-cancer mechanism found in these naked mole rats can be translated to humans. Now wouldn't that be something, but it's very complex and very intricate to find the cure to cancer. And once the scientist does, they're going to make history, they're going to be saving hundreds of millions of people. All right, so we've all made it into number one. Let's quickly recap what we've had so far. I mean, we've learned so much, but there's still one more thing to learn. So far, we know what cancer is. We know the main types of cancer treatments. We now know the most common type of cancer, but coming in at number one, more than 30% of cancer deaths could be prevented by modifying or avoiding risk factors such as tobacco use, being overweight, eating an unhealthy diet, limiting alcohol, and etc. You know when people are like, that could cause cancer? Well, if you avoid all these things, and which it seems like everything gives us cancer, I'll probably get cancer right now from all these lights in the studio. Well, if you avoid all these things, if I like don't make videos, YouTube videos, none of this, I would actually have a lower chance of getting cancer. But I mean, we're living life. YOLO, you can't try to prevent cancer. It's just there. You live your life. But saying that... I still choose to avoid the tobacco and I do put sunscreen on. Although I'm a brown guy, we gotta protect our skin. Although sometimes I try to get away with it, I'm like, I'm brown, I don't need sunscreen, what am I gonna do? Become more browner? You'll never notice. Well, there you guys have it. That was the top 10 facts about cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hopefully you guys became a little bit more smarter and learned a thing or two, or maybe 10. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That's it for me. I'll see you guys all in the next video. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and let me know what most amazing top 10 video you guys would like to see next. Let me know in the comment section below. I'll read them and we'll pick them and we'll make a top 10 video about it. I'll do the research and you guys will do the watching, hopefully. If you guys want to continue watching videos, look just to the side of me. There's two videos waiting for you to click on. Click on one of them and you can get caught up with the previous most amazing top 10 video. That's it for me guys. See you later.